paying attention to your dreams and making the time to shape them into concrete aspirations, or you are taking a step towards moving yourself in the direction of growth and away from the alternative. Napoleon Hill, the famous author of one of the most popular personal development books of all time, Think and Grow It, said, Man alone has the power to transform his thoughts into physical reality. Man alone can dream and make his dreams come true. He has gone on to say, thoughts are things. The importance of paying attention to your desires and treating them seriously cannot be overstated. I've created this vision board for you as a concrete representation of what your desires and aspirations may be for a compelling life. You can use them as a valuable tool to motivate and inspire you towards the concrete daily action in pursuit of your biggest and most important goals in life. With this vision board, you could play it every day for at least 21 days to make concrete changes into your life. So let's get right into it. The first thing that it says is, I am realistic, I expect miracles. That's what you should be living, a life of miracle expectations. Einstein said, your imagination is your preview of life's coming attraction. Let's read that again. Your imagination is your preview of life's coming attraction. And this is a dream board that I created for you that can save you all the work of doing it yourself because basically these are most of the things most of us dream of. A dream home, lose belly fat, be in a loving relationship, have a beautiful car, learn to dance. I personally like to learn to dance tango. It's a very difficult dance, but a great dance. Dream it for it to come true. You have to dream it for it to come true. If you don't have a dream, it can never come true. Let go of your silly insistence that A has to happen before B and B before C, and instead, you allow things to evolve in their highest order, in their highest way. You'll be amazed how if you start to believe that your life can be better, it will start to be better. Because the law of attraction is always working, whether you believe it or not. But it works so much better if you believe it. Because if you believe it, you can achieve it. Period. Dreams come true in unexpected ways. The first board I put up is about love and loving relationships. And happiness. Because the happiest people don't have the best of everything. They make the best of everything. Meaning, no matter what the situation in your life is, you can decide to make the best of it because thoughts become things. We come to love by not finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. Love is when you don't know why you seem to be attracted to that particular person. And we've all been there. Love is composed of a single soul inhibiting two bodies, Aristotle. There is never a time or place for true love. It happens accidentally, in a heartbeat, in a single flashing, throbbing moment. There's nothing more terrifying or fulfilling than complete love. It's worth the risk. Reach for it. The meaning of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there's any reaction, both are transformed. Physical attractions are common, but a real mental connection is rare. If you find it, hold on to it. And this is one of the things that uh, being social, being out in the world, meeting people, being with people, this is how you have connection to the world rather than locking yourself up in a, in a self-enclosed world of your mind. Expand your mind. Learn to dance. Learn to do swing dancing. Learn to dance tango. Learn to learn salsa. Go out and meet new people. Get out into the world, because the happiest people don't have the best of everything. They make the best of everything. Let's talk about creating. How to create the life you want. One, change the way you think. Two, realize your true potential. Be the person you want to attract. Yes, 
you know, uh, Hurley Gurley Brown once wrote, I became the woman the man I would want would want. So that applies to women and applies to men. Become the person you want to attract. Commit to chasing your dreams. Consistently strengthen your visualization. That means take the time to manifest, to visualize the future. What is it that you want? Pull it into your life. Once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. Ralph Waldo Emerson. And you know, a lot of you have heard the name, but a lot of you haven't read his books. I recommend it. Eight things that change your life in one year. Stop complaining and appreciate how lucky you are every day. Embrace loneliness and reinvent yourself in the process. Say goodbye to the people that don't bring positive energy into your life. And this applies to you in a group situation or dealing with people. And it's not what you feel good about. Don't stay there. Move on. Because your right place is there in the world waiting for you. So keep moving until you find where you are happiest. Throw off the TV and set internet controls. Meaning get away from the computer. Don't make the TV set your life. Go out and meet people and manifest the life that you want because it's not coming out of that TV set. Pick one skill you want to cultivate and put all your effort into developing it. I personally have decided to become a tango dancer. It's difficult, but I want to cultivate this skill. And it's a wonderful dance because it's a close embrace and you have the human touch and it's a wonderful music. Commit to the goals you set and never look back. Sweat every day to boost your mood. I get on a treadmill every morning during the winter and I go out biking every day during the, the warm weather. So sweating, moving your body, making your heart beat makes you feel better and lifts your mood. Fall forward. Learn from every mistake you make. And don't we all know, we've all had our share of mistakes. But ironically, the stakes and the missteps that we've had in life had led us to the better life than where we started. When manifesting, always stay positive. Say it like it's already done. Do not spend time thinking about anything opposite to what you want. Meditate on what you want. See it. Smell it. Feel it. Hear it. If it's real in your brain, it will be real in the physical. And that's very important. If it's real in your brain, it will be real in the physical. Because uh, the subconscious mind has no sense of smell because it has no nose. It has no eyes, so it can't see. It has no ears, so it can't hear. It has no hands, so it can't feel. The only power that it has is the power of compulsion or revulsion. So if you make it real in your brain, in your subconscious, it will become real in the physical. One day enough work will have been done, enough prayers will have been said, enough confidence will have been formed. One day with effortless certainty, your dreams will manifest into physical form, proving Dreams really can come true. Thoughts do become things. If you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. And that goes for the lotto. And that goes for the hand of the person in a loving relationship. That goes into uh, the car you want to possess. Into the key that opens the door to your beautiful new home. It's the key that comes together when you visualize it first. Because everything where you're sitting, where you're looking around this room, wherever you are, was first created in someone's mind before it became physical. I create the life I want to live. Now, I want to address one of the major issues that all of us are dealing with is weight. If you, you can lose belly fat, first you must believe you can do it in your subconscious before it will manifest in life. Scientific studies have shown that doing the following will help you create the body you want to manifest. Now, let me repeat. 
you should watch this video 21 times in 21 consecutive days and listen to every line and close your eyes as you hear it. Look at the pictures before you close your eyes. Think about it's you losing that belly. It's you in that bathing suit. Think about manifesting your new body. And the way you do that is, one, eat plenty of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber may help you lose weight by increasing fullness and reducing calorie uh, absorption. Try to include plenty of high fiber foods in your weight loss diet. I personally recommend everybody should have two tablespoons of Metamucil. In fact, I have a wonderful video on Metamucil that's uh, basically a soluble fiber that you, tastes like orange juice and it helps you lose weight, also controls your cholesterol. In any case, salad up. Two, avoid food that contains trans fat. Now, it's hard to do, but you have to try and make an effort to stop eating those cookies and cakes and pizza because that's where you find the trans fat. Some studies have linked the high intake of trans fat with increased belly fat gain. Whether or not you are trying to lose weight, limiting your intake of trans fat is a good idea. Whether or not you're trying to lose weight, limiting your intake of trans fat. So just try to live your life and coincidentally lose weight at the same time. Three, avoid alcohol. Excessive alcohol intake has been associated with increased belly fat. If you need to reduce your waistline, consider drinking alcohol in moderation or abstaining completely. You know, it's not the best thing in the world, but if you're going to drink, have something that, like a wine, a beer, and keep it under control because every ounce that you take in liquid increases your belly fat. Eat a high-protein diet. High-protein diets such as fish, lean meat, and beans are ideal if you're trying to shed some extra pounds around your waist. Another thing that's recommended very highly is nuts. Walnuts, cashews, uh, even peanuts, because there's a lot of benefits to that for your body. Reduce your stress levels. Stress may promote fat gain around your waist. Minimizing stress should be one of your priorities if you're trying to lose weight. And how do you reduce stress? It's all in your mind. If you believe that you're going to get over this terrible time in your life, you will. If you believe you're not, you won't. Uh, Henry Formulously Ford, uh, Ford said, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. So stress may promote fat gain around your waist. Minimizing stress should be one of your priorities if you're trying to lose weight. Meditate. Listen to uh, positive YouTubes. Listen to manifestation tapes. Read a lot of good books about increasing your health and your wealth and your and, and manifesting and new age material because it's all out there to help you reduce your stress. Don't eat a lot of sugary foods. Excess sugar intake is a major cause of weight gain in many people. Limit your intake of candy and processed foods high in added sugar. And, you know, one of the biggest ones is uh, cake and cookies. So try to reduce your intake of that. Another one, of course, you know, is soda and beer. All those things are empty calories. Do aerobic exercise or cardio. Aerobic exercise is an effective weight loss method. Studies suggest it's particularly effective in slimming your waistline. Another thing that's uh, come out recently is if you do uh, exercise on an empty stomach, it'll help you lose more weight than if you eat something before you exercise. Eight, cut back on carbs, especially refined carbs. A high intake of refined carbs is associated with excess belly fat. Consider reducing your carb intake or replacing refined carbs in your diet with healthy carb sources, such as whole grains, legumes, or vegetables. Vegetables are a great way to increase the roughage in your body and help you reduce that belly fat. Nine, replace some of your cooking fats with coconut oil. Studies suggest that using coconut oil instead of other cooking oils may help reduce abdominal fat. 
And there's the, you know, like everything else. We hear this is good, that is bad, this is good, that is bad. The current thinking is that coconut oil is a positive, healthy oil to help you lose weight. Ten, perform resistance training. Lift weights. Strength training can be an important weight loss strategy. It may help reduce belly fat. Studies suggest it's even more effective in combination with aerobic exercise. You don't want to build muscle. What you want to do is build up body strength, core strength. You want to uh, have more uh, calorie burning in your body. Just walking around, riding a bike, doing a treadmilling. Get that body strength going and also do some weight lifting. Some light weight lifting, lift it up, get, let it grow over time. 11. Avoid sugar sweetened beverages. Avoiding all liquid forms of sugar, such as sugar sweetened beverages, is very important if you're trying to shed some extra pounds. 12. Get plenty of restful sleep. I can't emphasize this one enough. Sleep deprivation is linked to an increased rate, a risk of weight gain. Getting enough high quality sleep should be one of your main priorities if you plan to lose weight and improve your health. By the way, you should find out if you have sleep apnea because sometimes you may not be getting restful sleep because you have sleep apnea because sleep apnea basically you stop breathing during the course of the night and wakes you up and you have disturbed sleep and you don't get that deep replenishing sleep that you need. So if you have a housemate, uh, have them check on your breathing while you sleep. 13. Track your food intake and exercise. As a general weight loss advice, it's always a good idea to keep track of what you're eating. Keeping a food diary or using an online food tracker or two of the most popular ways to do this. You know, uh, I know it's a pain in the butt to keep track of food, but if you really, really want to conquer this, that's one way to do it. You can lose body fat. First, you must believe you can do it in your subconscious mind before it will manifest in life. 14. Eat fatty fish every week. Eating fatty fish or taking omega-3 supplements may improve your overall health. Some advice also suggests it may reduce body fat in people with fatty liver disease. You know, that's a fish oil supplements they're talking about. But... You know, the Catholic Church, they have people eat Friday uh, fish every Friday. And the uh, Italian families had uh, uh, fish on Sundays. So it's not a bad idea to make sure you have one fish dinner a week. Fifteen, stop drinking fruit juice. When it comes to fat gain, fruit juice can be just as bad as sugary soda. Consider avoiding all sources of liquid sugar to increase your chance of successfully losing weight. 16. Add apple cider vinegar to your diet. Apple cider vinegar may help you lose weight. Animal studies suggest it may reduce body fat. And how do you add it? You put it in your salads. Uh, you can make uh, a, sa a steak with uh, vinegar, which is a great meal. Another thing you can do is 17. Eat probiotic foods and take a probiotic supplement. If taking probiotic pro Probiotic, probiotic supplements may promote a healthy digestive system. Studies also suggest that the benefits of gut bacteria may produce, promote weight loss. It's also being shown that the bacteria in your gut also may affect you as far as your diabetes, as far as your uh, uh, the fear of getting Alzheimer's. There's a lot of studies now showing that the gut basically is the engine of your healthy body. 18. Try intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that alternates between periods of eating and fasting. Studies suggest that it may be one of the most effective ways of losing weight and belly fat. I know the idea of fasting is hard, but if you want to get going to a more committed and, and uh, you know, because the saying says the the uh, the explanation of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So if you really, really want to get on with your life and really, really want to lose the weight, do what you hadn't done before. 
one easy thing to do is drink green tea. Regularly drinking green tea has been linked to weight loss, though it's probably not effective on its own and best combined with exercise. So, the exercise, have a glass of green tea or try to have green tea after dinner because it also breaks down the fat uh, molecules in your body when you digest the food. 20. Change your lifestyle and combine different methods. Losing weight and keeping it off is impossible unless you permanently change your dietary habits and lifestyle. So it's not a diet. It's dietary habits and lifestyle. You want to change? You want to be like these pictures here where your, your pants are too big and your swimming tube is, uh, is nice and tight? You couldn't do this because if you put it in your mind, it will be so. Your imagination is your preview of life's coming attraction. Remember, it was Einstein that said that. Now let's talk about prosperity. Here, you can visualize the cars you want. You could uh, get in that car in your mind. You could get behind that wheel. You can get on that motorcycle. You can get on your private plane. You can do wonderful things in the pleasure and peace of your inner mind. Your imagination has no limit. Whatever you want, you can have that relationship. You can have it today, this minute. It doesn't have to be in the physical, in the real world, but it can be in your imagination. And one day, it will become real. Here are uh, things you could repeat six times a day. I love abundance and prosperity and attract it naturally. The whole universe and entire mankind is, pros is conspiring to bring me prosperous and abundant. Prosperous and abundant. Abundance and prosperity is my birthright and I have it. Put everything in the present, not in the future, not in the past, today. Abundance and prosperity is my birthright and I have it. That means today, I have it. I let go of all resistance to prosperity and it comes to me naturally. Don't, don't make yourself crazy. It'll come if you call it in the right way. I am in a state of fulfillment. I have abundant love and joy in my life and I'm free to do whatever I choose to do. That's a great statement. I am in a state of fulfillment. have abundance, love, and joy in my life, and I'm free to do whatever I wish to do. Now, here's 20 affirmations for making money. I'm receiving money now with ease and grace. I love actively and passionately making money. Money is coming to me with little or no effort. Play that lotto. I recommend that to everybody. You know, God is giving you the opportunity to become extremely wealthy. Give him a hand. Buy a lotto ticket. I enjoy working and being paid well. Unexpected money is coming to me. Believe that. Believe it. Unexpected money is coming to me. Manifesting more money comes naturally. I am powerfully charged money magnet. I'm feeling open to receiving abundance. I see the infinite supply of energy. I'm taking financially rewarding opportunities. I choose to enjoy accepting payment. I live each day appreciating value. I'm excited to be making money. I notice new possible income sources. I have everything I need including money. The universe is conspiring to make me wealthy. I see myself living a life of financial security. My positive attitude is attracting money. Let's, let's say that again. My positive attitude is attracting money. Affirmations are motiv me, motivating me to become rich. I live confidently knowing I am worthy of prosperity. Now, what does that mean? Affirmations are motivating me to become rich. What it's doing is, is putting in your mind that you're capable of doing it. And if you feel you're capable of doing it, you'll have the courage to do what you have to do. Positivity pledge. I shall no longer allow negative thoughts or feelings to drain me of my energy. Instead, I shall focus on all the good that's in my life. I will think it, feel it, and speak it. By doing so, I will send out vibes of positive energy into the world and I shall be grateful for all the wonderful things it will attract into my life. That's a beautiful pledge. I shall no longer 
allow negative thoughts or feelings to drain me of my energy. Don't let it suck it out of you. Instead, I shall focus on all the good that's in my life. You're healthy, you're breathing, you're alive. I will think it, feel it, and speak it. By doing so, I will send out vibes of positive energy into the world, and I shall be grateful for all the wonderful things it will attract into my life, be it money, a loving relationship, a new car, a new home, better health, the, the health of your family, the people you love around you doing well. This is to be positive. Being positive because Henry Ford said, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you're right. Believe that I can taste my dream and can feel my dream. It's already mine. Believe it and it is so. Try to stop the video, read it through on your own, take off the sound if you don't like my voice, read through this at your leisure, one slide at a time and get the most out of this you can. Now please, subscribe, like and share, like us on Facebook, click the, the bell on the YouTube so to be notified every time we put up a new video. Again, thoughts are things. The importance of paying attention to your desires and treating them seriously cannot be overstated. This vision board, I hope, will help you achieve the dreams that you aspire to. You can make your own vision board. You could cut out magazines. You could put a board on the wall. Believe it, and it will come true. So, please put your comments below. Share this with everybody you know. And don't forget, we're here for you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.